What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Never Say Never, and I ain't talking about Justin Bieber's favorite nerd. And today we are looking at an unboxing video, which will lead into a review that obviously you know by now is for the Bike Robo Deluxe version. You know, I'm always 100% transparent about this stuff, or at least I try to be. I was contacted by Awaken Studios, which carries the Action Toys Machine Robo line. And they asked me if I would do an unboxing video of their Bike Robo Deluxe. And I said, well, I've already reviewed Bike Robo, and they said, no, this is bigger, it's, you know, it's, it's different. Would you do an unboxing? And I said, sure, but, you know, I really would want to review it. Do you mind if I just roll it into one video? And they were cool with that. They didn't have any objection with me kind of doing my thing as I see fit to do, and hopefully this will be the beginning of something new, relationship-wise for me. But let's get this box open, we'll look at what's inside, and then we'll get to the figure. You see this? It's just a little, it's just a little pocket knife, you know? I see some of these unboxing videos of these guys and they're going crazy. They're going out of control. They got machetes and katana swords and all that kind of stuff. You gotta relax. You know, right tool for the right job. You don't need a ninja sword to open up a box. I might, because I can't figure out how to open up this box, but most do not. All right, so let's see what we got. Shuttle Robo. And I'll review all these. So if we don't do them today, I'll be getting to them. Missile Tank Robo. Battle Robo. And Bike Robo, and it is a much bigger box. So I wonder if they're doing a whole larger line. It's interesting to me. So that's what all came in the box. Trust me, we'll work our way through all of them. But this was their priority, and I want to make sure that I take care of that first, and then we'll move into the three others, all right? Give me a minute, and let me get them sorted out. First impressions, there's no wonder they sent this thing to me. It feels premium. It has like a Bondi feel to it. It feels top shelf. Let's get a measurement. We'll do a size comparison later. So to the top of his head, he's about seven and a quarter inches. We got, I, I, I can't, the, the best way to describe it, I've got some issues with it, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect, but it is good and it feels awesome. I don't know. Like, I was shocked. You know, I've, I've kind of liked their Machine Robo stuff in the past. Not for nothing, I did think it was funny that in, in the email they sent me like some reminders that their company name was Action Toys and the brand name was Machine Robo. Because we all know I didn't call it Machine Robo in the past. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. But it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll give them the respect since they gave me some respect. I like the Machine Robo stuff they put out in the past. I thought it was fine. This is, first impressions wise, above fun. It reminds me of like a Solo Chijokin type figure. Anyway, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I have wrong with it or that I have issue with or take issue with. We're gonna get into it, but first you know where we gotta start and that's with the accessories. So you get two swap out hand pieces. Now, I would assume that this is for a couple reasons. If you wanna just have him holding with a holding hand to hold something or whatever, it's just locked in place. Or if you wanna have him more solidified in bike mode, that you could use these to hold onto the front wheels. Both done the same way, covered in this, uh, with this silver finish. You have these two blast effects, orange translucent plastics, decent enough sculpts, kind of like the, you know, the, the rumble in the, in the jungle and then the, and then the blast coming out. And these can be used interchangeably with the hands as well by simply pulling this out and it's a tight little fit and plugging that in. Obviously the same goes for the circular hands as well. He also comes with two tires. We have the rubber around the wheels and it looks like the same silver finish on the spokes and of course as you saw in the opening footage they plug into his shoulders just fine. So you get these swap out faces and you get these two facial designs and then this facial design. Now this reminds me more of Bike Robo but this reminds me more of Psycho. I'm not sure how all that works out. I'm not sure what the deal is with any of that but you get those options and I for one couldn't be more appreciative. This face has the silver finish with the yellow paint for the eyes and some black paint around the edges. Actually, let's take a look at what the base is here. 
I can't even tell. I can't even tell because it has the silver finish on the inside. I got a little bit of a paint chip right there on mine, but not the biggest deal in the world. And then we have these two, one, one face with the gritting teeth and then one smirk face, both pretty cool. This is an orange based plastic. The red is obviously a different piece of plastic for the eyes. And then the black is painted on and the gray is painted on. And then lastly, you have this one, which is just a cover up, I believe, in bike mode. It's just a white piece. And the way that these swap out is actually pretty cool as well. They're magnetized. And in order to release them, you just press down on the top. And they pop out a bit, just enough to grab it. And then you can replace it with whichever you'd like. There's that. And then for the alt mode, that. And I like uh, using magnets for this stuff. I think it's cool and I think it's underused, so pretty smart. And then lastly, you get this little guy, and look, I got nothing. All right, I got to keep it real. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a suitcase with little arms and legs. I'm sure it means something to someone. Uh, I'm just not that someone. Now, let's talk about the figure. The head is on a swivel, pretty much. That is that is one thing I wish we had a little bit more play. I wish we had a little bit more of a look down and a look up. But pretty much, you just get the swivel, which is a bit of a bummer. It has this white refined plastic for the head itself, and then we have the translucent orange. Moving to the shoulders, you see the hinge here. Now, that's a cheat, obviously. You know, but without using that, you got basically a universal joint right here. So you can get the arm all the way up to the side and all the way down. You can get a bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow, and the entire arm has a silver finish. Wrist swivel, thumb is on a hinge, and the other fingers are on a base pin knuckle with the index finger able to move independently. The wheels, obviously, as we already talked about, can be removed. Same for the other side. Moving down the chest, we have the red, black, and yellow there for the chest. We have a waist swivel that works just fine and an ab crunch, which gets you pretty much all the way over. Nothing to turn your nose up there. You have hip skirts that can rotate up. We do have the orange and the red break up there for our ratcheted universals. Now, they're not ratcheted both ways, and this is one of my gripes. So uh, more often than not, companies these days will have um, a ratchet forward and back and not out to the side so that the consumer can control the A stance. Now, I'm an individual, maybe I'm old school, where I like a ratchet both forward and back and out to the sides. The problem is here is that the ratchets do work out to the side, but they're not they're not the best. And it does feel like you're putting a significant amount of strain on the joint there at the ratchet as you go to manipulate the legs because the ratchet is very strong and it almost feels stronger than the plastic at that particular joint. Then we have the silver finish for the thighs and hips thigh swivel. No problems there. And even with all that paint, like you can hear a little, this one's got a little squeak to her, but it doesn't bother me. Now when you got that full coat of silver on there, I'm good with that. That's a trade I'm willing to take. Ratcheted knee, great tolerance, folds way past 90 degrees. Gunmetal silver on the side of the leg, yellow on the front. You can close this down for a more complete look if you'd like, but you'll lose some articulation. The ankles, you get a tilt up at the toe, which works. It's like a cheat, basically. And then you get an ankle rocker. So no downward tilt, and you get an ankle rocker. And in the back, you have this little itty-bitty piece of kibble. Not, and it kind of falls right in line with the thighs. has the silver finish with the black, white, and red breakup on the back. So seriously, like, I don't have a whole lot of issues with this. My, my biggest issue is I wish I could look down a little bit with the head 
And uh, I'm not crazy about the tolerance on the on the universals on, on the hips. Everything else pretty much works exactly how you would want it to. Size comparison wise, to put it in perspective, there's the bike robo that they released. I don't know if it was last year, two years ago now. So I mean, significant difference. And not just in size, but in overall performance. I mean, it's it's just like this, it feels like, it honestly feels like the difference between, you know, classics and masterpiece. And just because I can, there he is next to MP Megatron. And like, I don't, am I taking crazy pills? Like, does that look as good as that feels to me right now? Like, I don't know, feels pretty good. All right, so let's get him transformed. What we're gonna do is we'll fold up the legs first. So remember, you can have this piece down if you'd like, or you can keep it up for articulation. Uh, same goes for this piece here, which I forgot to mention. You can have that down for aesthetics or up for articulation. You also wanna take this and fold this up once, and then this is gonna fold up again. Before we do that, we're gonna push in the inner thigh or the lower thigh slightly inward, okay? So let's do that on the other side. Make sure that this piece is folded up and this piece is folded up. Fold up one more time. And push in the inner thigh. You can turn the foot to the side and then slide up and in so that that covers down. Same on this side, turn to the inside, double hinge basically, pushing the foot inside. And now we need to get these to basically underneath and in line with the body. So we'll move down the hip, sit it as far as it can go up in that space. We'll rotate these, right? That will allow you the space to bring this piece around. Now this piece, this little blue tab there is gonna go in between these yellow pieces there. And the same is going to be said for this one. Up and around. And before we collapse them together, we're gonna have our wheel go inside and it's actually magnetized, so it should help stick together. And then we'll tab all this together and sit that. Into the chest. Okay, before you before you're moving on, I just want to say these hips down here, make sure that you have them, I don't think I did a good job of explaining because I had them up like this, but they come around all the way to the side and cover down. I just don't think I filmed that. All right, pull the head up as far as it'll go. Unlock the sides here, like I showed you if you wanted to cheat for articulation. Flip up the handlebars so that this is kind of all in line. And then using your uh, joint pieces here, you want to use this hinge and this hinge to kind of align. Make sure that your elbows are kind of facing like this per the instructions that'll help. So you want to kind of get them up and over. And they'll sit in there quite nicely. So we'll do the same on this side. Tab it in. And then in terms of locking in the front tire, it's the same sort of deal, except this is where the clip goes right in there. And then this is where the, the, uh, the plug goes. So step one, step two, fold those down. I'll clean it up, we'll take a look at her. And ultimately I think it works like a champ. So you have the kickstand here, we'll fold that up. And I think it actually is supposed to fold around this way. Rolls like a champ, no issues. The chrome on the exhaust comes out nicely as does the chrome, it's a dark chrome on the kickstand. All of it works well, these move up and down. I don't know much about bikes, but I guess that's a thing, I'm not sure. And you got that that comes through. 
I don't know. Not a whole lot to complain about. I can show you size comparison wise. There he is with Tiger Tracks. So, decent enough size. Looks good to me. Um, the, the, the only issue, let me tell you the issue I have. And it's not re a real issue, but it's, it's a small criticism. So it comes with these two things. And it would be cool if you could plug those in. You know, if there was some way to work it, like if they were designed to go in the back, but they're not even designed, like they don't even fit this this port, you know. If they would have made that the same port, I think that would have been cool as like a little added bonus. But that's that's pretty much, that's all I got. That's all I got for criticisms. It's pretty, it's well done. Final thoughts wise, let's talk about my negatives, because I do have a few. I really don't like the particular universal joint that they use for the hips. I just don't feel like it's strong enough to support the strength of the ratchet that's in there forever. There is a few tolerance issues in terms of the uh, the joints. You know, it's a little tight there, and I'm guessing it's just to account for the paint. But you know me folks, me personally, I'm okay with sacrificing a few things to have some good paint. And this is in that ballpark. I just wouldn't be completely objective if I didn't mention it. And lastly, I kind of wish he came with that ax that the little one came with. Like it would have been nice just to have that extra accessory, especially with the holding hands and such. And if I wanted to nitpick, I mean, maybe that gap there between the head and the front chest, but it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But I love the sculpt, I love the feel, I love the materials, I love 90% of the joints, I love the sculpt, I love the scale, I love the presence, I love the use of magnets, I like the engineering, it's fun, it's easy to flip back and forth and completely enjoyable. Like, I, I mean, I said it at the beginning of this review and I'll say it again, um, you know, I don't, it's very rare that a company reaches out to me to uh, take a look at something. But when I, as soon as I got this thing out of the box, as soon as I got it out of the box and held it, I was like, no wonder. Because they know, they know they made something good. So why not send it to me? Smart move on there and you ask me. And definitely appreciated by me. So yeah, it's a strong recommend for me. I am in on this scale for any of the characters that I recognize. If they continue down this deluxe path with this with this IP, with the, the Machine Robo IP, I'm in for the scale. Period. If I recognize the character, that's one of the problems with the bike robo license. I just didn't watch it as a kid. I watched GoBots. So if I recognize the character, I'm in. They've sold me. Really, really stellar job. It really feels like a soldier joking type of figure. And I don't I don't throw Bondi around lightly. You know, I feel like when you say that something feels like that, it means something. Now it's not exactly like that, but that was my first impression getting it out of the box. I was like, oh my god, this feels like a Bondi SOC fig. I'd be really interested to see where they are a year from now. They are officially on my watch list. But yeah, if you get it, be mindful of the hips. That's the biggest issue here. Other than that, fantastic effort, fantastic figure. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.